Hey, check it, bro. Living in the van. Diet, diet, gotta. Request by some German new named Daniel. He's like, um, how did you do living in the van? Diet, diet. And I'm like, because you said that you're totally broke. So how the fuck do you get by if you're eating in the restaurants? And I don't eat in the restaurants. If I eat in restaurants, I would be broke as fuck. Because you have to give these people tips in America. And I ain't bad about that. Um, food. Well, you see, I'm still kind of a newbie living in the van. In fact, my uh, year-long anniversary is coming up in about a week. I started living in the van in about 17th of uh, September of um, last year, 2010. So I'm definitely going to do a year one anniversary of living in the van. But I'm getting better and I'm going to get better and I hope I'm going to get better. Um, I could live really cheaply. Anybody could live really motherfucking cheaply if you cook for yourself, dude. You could way do it. So cheap. The problem is it's really difficult to do that because... Um, you just see all these food places around, especially in America, food's so good, you know, it's like, Taco Bell, yay! Well, Taco Bell's pretty cheap, but, you know, Taco Bell, yay! Cadoba, yay! Subway, yay! You know? And even the super, food at the supermarket is fucking expensive, dude. Like, if you get, like, um, vegetable platter, it's like fucking ten bucks, you know? A little thing of frickin' fruits, like five bucks, dude, it's like, what the hell? Conspiracy theory, making a simple food expensive as hell. But, uh, yeah, um, if you, like, were to cook uh, oatmeal, live off of oatmeal and pasta and, like, rice that you cook yourself, you may not be the healthiest person in the world, you know, but holy Lord and Savior from Nazareth, you would be, you would be living in the cheap. And that's what I want to be doing in the future, start cooking for myself, just living off of oatmeal and throw some raisins in there and have pasta for dinner and... You know, and that way I could work out pretty good. I'd have enough, I'd have cheap calories. I could be in the gym and working out and stuff. Um, and then kind of do like the vet, fruit and vegetables thing maybe every other day or something. But, um, or every third day or something like that. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm definitely going to include that in my living in the van videos of, of like describing how I'm getting better and cooking for myself. Because I could, I could get my financial situation on track if I started cooking for myself. Um. I'm just not good at cooking for myself yet because I'm still, um, I'm still, um, um, neurotic as fuck, dude. I have OCD, dude. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Like you wouldn't fucking believe. I've always had it and I'm starting to realize that I'm, I have it really bad. Um, I'm really, 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 really insanely addicted to my timeline. So addicted that I'm not even doing anything other than my timeline. Like, I'm not even exercising at all. I haven't exercised for, like, months. Um, I go into the gym and I just... I, you know, a few days back, I did some bench pressing with 135 pounds. I did 10 reps. And then I was like... And then I did, like, eight pull-ups. That's all I could do. And I was like, all right, bored. Let's go do the thing. So then I got on, like, the little Stairmaster thing. And I was like, okay, bored. i got to just sit down and do the thing, so... And the reason I'm like that is because I'm goal-oriented with it, and I have to, like, I want to get all of my things. I have events from all the centuries, and I got to I, I gotta um, paste them onto the various pages that I have, and um, that's going to be really, I'll talk, take, like, a few more weeks, dude, maybe even up to another month. Fucking a lot of shit. But once I do that, I'm hoping that I'll be able to be in the zone where... I really, I'm kind of doing it all at once, which kind of makes it so that I know that it's forever since I'm going to be done, so I can't be goal-oriented with it. I can't see the end of the tunnel at all, which is going to make it so that I can drag myself away from the project and, like, exercise and stuff. And also drag myself apart from the project and cook. And I think cooking is actually a perfect time to make videos, so I'm going to try and have the cooking doing while I'm doing the videos in the background. Um... And throw that in because cooking takes time you got to sit there while the thing boils and I'm just like have to get back to the computer so I would just eat really quick go out there and eat and then get in the cook and it's fucked because like last week I opened up I went into the mountains I was in the mountains for three days or something like that and I open up my cooler right and I see like moldy um, chips and like um, b refried beans in there chip dip with refried beans like all fuzzy and collecting like fuzz and shit and I was like I had no idea that was there I totally spaced it like that's how in my head I am dude like 
I was eating chips and dip and I put it in my cooler because I was going to go back to it later on that day. And then I totally spaced it was there completely. And I go in there to like see what's in there and I'm like, whoa, oh God. And check this fucking shit out. This is unbelievable. I did the same thing today. I went in, I was like, oh no. Oh no, look at that. Oh God. Holy shit, that smells so bad. I gotta get out of here. Almost puked just then. And um, yeah, and I've got like a thing of bread that's moldy in there and I had another thing of bread that was moldy in there. And um, yeah, I, I got the bread and like the whole thing was like moldy. It was like a, a fucking month old or a month and a half old and I never even opened the bread. I didn't remember it was there. I gotta get rid of that. I haven't been able to, to um, I haven't been able to sleep for the last um, um, few days at all. Like last night I was up until like six in the morning or something, like <laughs> taking my inhaler. And I had, I couldn't get up until noon today because of that. And I think it was, I'm thinking it was because of all that moldy stuff coming out of it and getting into my lungs and creating mold in my lungs. Because that's what it was like before when I realized that there was all that mold growing off of the beans. And I cleaned that up and then I could breathe better. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get my shit together enough so that I can cook for myself and be consistent and open that, crack that thing open and not have like moldy stuff in there that when I open it, it like knocks me out and then I can't breathe at night. And I'll be able to live really cheaply. But right now, yeah, I do kind of live expensively. I, um, you know, I eat like I get, I went to that teriyaki place yesterday and I paid like nine bucks for this thing of like fried chicken and stuff and filled me up. But you know, nine bucks for just one meal is kind of a lot when you're trying to get by cheapy cheapy. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna include that like I think I might even start in, like when I make, I'm making these videos a lot and be like, yeah, I'm cooking today. And maybe even put in my blog, you know, on my calendar blog, like how much money I actually spent per day exactly. And that'd be a good thing. Cause like, that's really, that's really the breaking point right there. Like you can live cheap, you know, maybe save up money working and then live in your van and, and just kick it and be happy your own dude and just not have to work or whatever on the cheap if you cook for yourself. But if you don't cook for yourself, it's gonna, you're gonna be going home and getting a job a lot sooner, so. Anyways, that's that. I'm gonna get rid of this pasta, dude, right now before I fucking puke. <laughs>